it smells good. Hopefully, it tastes just as good. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. What's up, YouTube family? Good morning. So, remember how I told y'all how I picked up a keto diet magazine and it had some recipes in it that I wanted to try? Well, we're going to try one for breakfast. These. Let me get to the page. Cauliflower hash brown patties. Here's the picture. Looks really good, right? So, I'm going to try it. Um, so, I got fresh cauliflower. Like, I've already started. Like, this is in progress at the moment because at first I wasn't going to record it because I didn't know how this was going to turn out. But then I was like, whatever. If I fail, we all gonna fail together. So, okay, got my head of cauliflower, and I've just been like grating it in this bowl because the one that I get from Aldi, like it's frozen, and then you gotta wait for it to unthaw, and then it's like all that extra water. I didn't feel like dealing with that, so I just got a fresh head of cabbage. Uh, not cabbage, Jesus. Um, what is this called? Cauliflower. I had a fresh head of cauliflower and I've just been grating it. But it's like getting everywhere. But uh, I don't know. I hope it's worth it. Um, but let's look at the recipe. Um, four slices of bacon. Don't have that. One half a cup of finely chopped onion. I have an onion. I'll just grate that too. Uh, red and green bell pepper don't have those one large egg got that almond flour is a negative but I have regular flour so that'll work um shredded cheddar cheese I don't even have that chives okay so like half of these ingredients I don't even have but whatever it's okay it's all right it's it's not going to be exactly this recipe, but it's going to be something. Because I already started, so I can't stop now. So yeah, let's make something that's supposed to resemble a cauliflower hash brown. That was a struggle. <laughs> I would probably be better off just cutting this, but I'm not trying to use this whole head of cauliflower, and I'm also not trying to break a nail. So, the struggle continues, I guess. Don't worry about him, he would be alright.
that's creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream Just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body All right, so I just added salt, pepper, the grated up onion, um, and like a little bit of onion powder, and then some minced garlic. We didn't have garlic powder, like, but it's gonna be okay. And now I'm about to add the flour and the eggs. And I should have put this in a bigger bowl because I feel like this is gonna be an even bigger mess. I'm hoping for some brighter days Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself feel warmer when you're near Whenever you're near Alright, so this is what it looks like once it's all like mixed together. Very yellow. But I blame the onion for that. Um, it probably would look much nicer with the red peppers and the green peppers in it. So I got my butter melting and we're just going to put dollops in the pan and see how it works. Get under my skin, give me a piece of your mind. Alright, so I made my plate, and y'all already know me, put my salsa on top. It smells good. Hopefully, it tastes just as good. And it kind of looks like crunchy. That's how I like my hash browns to have a crunch. So, we gonna see. Like, even though I'm missing half of the ingredients required for the recipe, it's actually pretty good. Like, and if it had the bacon and the chives and all that other stuff that they wanted me to put in it, in there, this would be bomb. Yeah, I approve. You should make this. I'll put a picture up over here as usual with all the ingredients and information that y'all need so that y'all can make it the proper way but this is good all right guys but that is the end of this video just some quick and cute um, it actually really was delicious. The only thing, though, it wasn't, like, as crispy as I like hash browns. Like, I like there to be, like, a crunch. Like, there wasn't that much crunch. So, I mean, I guess you could add, like, I use butter, but if you use, like, some olive oil or something and, like, added more than I use olive oil-wise than I did butter. And then, like, just let it 
fry in the pan for a little bit more so that you got that crustification it'd be bomb and then again with all the ingredients it, it was really good but please make sure you like comment share subscribe and let me know if you make the recipe and what do you think about it if you add something else to it or take something away like let's talk about it <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one bye uh -oh.